okay, now, who can tell me which leopard that is? He's got to kill. Now, if we go up onto his face, which one of our leopard experts can tell me who that is? If you know, send me an email, questions at wildearth.tv, or use the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, this is quite an interesting story. I don't think he's the leopard who killed this adult impala. From the story the trackers have been telling me, I think it was young Sindile who killed this impala. And this leopard has stolen it from him. They had a fight. Now, Herbie was telling me you can actually see some scratch marks. We can't see them. They might be on the other side. But a big male impala. Hopefully, he's able to eat enough of it that he's able to put it up in the tree. Oh dear, I've pulled my earpiece out in that getting into this position. Okay, it's back. So as you can see right down in the deep drainage line, that's why we couldn't see him from the other side earlier. We've just found this little gap through there. You can see he's quite nervous. He's been in a fight already with another leopard today. And we think it could have been even young Sindile. And just zoom in on his neck there, please. To the left. Oh, no, he put his head down. But Herbert said we could see some big claw marks on him somewhere. Isn't this incredible? So, oh, you guys are a bit slow this morning. I thought I'd have some answers to which leopard this was. Remember, hashtag Safari Live or questions at wildearth.tv. Which male leopard is feasting on this impala? So we've got I'm just trying to get a photo of his So some be some people think it's Anderson, it's definitely not Anderson. I'm not 100% sure, actually, I thought. Let me just have a... Ah, there's a dead giveaway. If we zoom in on... Yes. I'm pretty certain that this is in Vula. And you see those very tattered ears? Very distinct in Vula. I still can't see these fresh claw marks. They could be on the other side of his body... He is in a very precarious place. Um, very, very difficult to even get close to him. I'm, I'm, ha I'm amazed we got to, to get this little window through the trees here. So, very exciting. Uh, in Vula, and it looks like he might have chased Sindile off the kill and stolen it, and they had a bit of a fight. So, the tracker said they had tracks of leopards fighting. And very impressive if Sindile did decide to tackle an adult male. He is there. And it's a fully grown male impala. And hopefully he does put it in the tree. Lots of lions and hyenas around. So the reason, I haven't had a good look at his spot pattern yet, but the reason I think it's in Vula is his ears. He's got particularly tatty ears. There we are. You can see the male impala's horns there. What a cat-filled morning it's been.
tried a couple of spots and this is the only spot where we can really get a view. And I'd say the little river system he ends probably about 10 or 12 foot deep and he's right in the bottom. Now, Richard Kennedy says he thought Mvula was too old to fight. Well, not when you're fighting little boys. <laughs> Two-year-old male leopard wouldn't probably know what too much to do in a fight. Uh, he'd probably avoid, he definitely avoids fighting with Kojima and Tingana. But a young, young leopard, a bit inexperienced, he would definitely uh, take a chance and probably win that battle. And body size, young Sandile is probably still a good 15, 20 kilos off Mvula's weight. So it looks like the stomach has already been removed. Quite difficult to see from where we are. Uh, hopefully, yes, the stomach has been removed. It's actually lying, it's just there. There's the stomach there. So it should be light enough for him to lift into this tree. And there's some nice trees that he could put it in here. There's a lovely Timburti tree. That would make a good spot for him to put it in. So if we come out, and have a look, there's this Timburti tree, big Timburti tree here, and be a good spot for him to put that kill in. Now let's stick with him, let me get my shoulder out of the way. So there are quite a few other vehicles coming here, and there's only really two spots to see. And Aubrey's spot isn't as good as ours. I just need to talk to Aubrey quickly. Orbs, if you want to come this side.